See what is that? It's been a while since I've been working on this, been busy. Here's the first prototype board, which is running. The clock has been running. And it says it's 507 right there. Um, I do have, I've had to rewire a lot of things to figure stuff out, things that didn't work, inputs that the chip didn't like, stuff like that. So it's kind of a mess. But I hate that. Also, this is the 5 volt voltage regulator, 7805C. They're very popular. But if you put over 12 volts DC into that, those get very hot and I don't want it, I don't want it to fail. So, uh, it's been running just off a smaller power supply that puts out like 9 volts AC going into it, which is rectifying, you know, to, for that, then that's dropping it to 5 volts. It's also getting the AC to get the 60 hertz pulse to make the clock run. But I'm going to have to start over on another board here. Let's get the lighting here. Okay, so here's another board. I'm starting all over. Um, this is using a 24 volt transformer from a carrier or something right there and uh, so we've got the oscilloscope turned on so right now the input is AC 24 volts scan rate of the camera versus that's making it look goofy but it's a perfect sine wave up there um, so let me change the scale of this and move it down so I got 24 volts of AC going in Rectified at this diode right there. Oh, it's still off the scale. Let me turn it. There we go. It's probably 20 something volts. Or probably not that much, but it's halfway rectified. Let's see. And there's there's 5 volts. So it's pretty high. It's probably 5. Yeah, it's almost 20 volts rectified. Not much load on the transformer. Yeah, see. So there's my 5 volts. Clip this on and change the scale of this again. Put 5 volts right there. 5 volts we have scale. Because the next thing I want to look at is okay, so this is a, a voltage regulator, but it's a switching voltage regulator. I shouldn't even need a heat sink because I'm not drawing much for current on this project. So you got about 20 volts DC here, which rectifying from the transformer, and then this. Uh, chip here is this seven. Uh, this chip here is this LM2595 using this schematic here and it's switching this coil right here and uh, doing a regulated 5 volts which you saw on the scope a second ago okay and then this other half of this circuit down here I'm t rectifying the Oops, got to turn the scale way down. Taking that 24 volt transformer and half waving it through a diode, right? And then going through a resistor and then through a 4.7 volt Zener diode. So I'm going to read this voltage. Turn the scale back up. Yeah, see, and it's about 4.7, almost 5 volts right there. So that's where I'm going to generate my 60 hertz pulse to drive the clock. It's doing the same thing on this test one over here. It's um, going through a zener, but it's all soldered across the dang board. See, that's why I want to redo it. So right there, I've got the power supply and the 60 hertz pulse generated out of the line voltage that's going through here for my project. Now I'm going to drop in another chip socket there and start soldering in the components and see if they can make a cleaner version of this over here which actually is working except for I can't accept the 24 volt AC coming in here is just too much for that regulator okay so far so good got my socket on the board got my little header that goes over to the programmer and that'll be secured down when I get done went ahead and put a couple pull-up resistors and a couple diodes there for my three button input menu and adjust that'll be on the front panel with the LCD definitely just want to keep it from looking like that when I'm done nothing wrong with that though that's 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 R&D work right there <laughs> okay 
stop in here to test it. Got the IC in there, the one I already had programmed. You can see the heartbeat is going, so it is running. I've got the header going over to the programmer. I was able to read the hex code. See if this, I'm using my smartphone so you can zoom in clearly there or not. Eh, good enough, it's not going to be that great when you zoom that much, but there's the program it read out of it, so it's interfacing with the chip. So I just wanted to make sure it's working uh, so far before I solder in, you know, my LCD with all them wires, which will clutter up the board a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and secure this one and then continue on. But most of the hard part is done. That's a, that's, a, that's a lot cleaner than the other board was so far. So all I really have left to hook up is just the, uh, the wires to the relay that go, you know, in and out. And then, uh, the LCD and the, uh, wires that just go to those inputs right here for the buttons and that's not going to clutter it up too much at all so it should be looking good I'm just glad to get this part working right if you hook these up wrong they fry you leave off the diode or put on the, just don't connect it they fry but this is a, a switching uh, voltage regulator it came off a train Reliatel circuit board 